Hey, today you are gonna see some crazy setup in Obsidian. This is a habit tracker that I have been using for the past 10 to 12 days and I love it. I have shared almost all of my habit tracking setups in the past where I was using data view or some external plugin and I have switched multiple times like I might have switched uh, three to four times in the past three years of using Obsidian. And by far, this is the best thing that I have found. Let me take you through a quick demo on how this system works. Okay, you have a date over here that is February 1 today, uh, the day that the video is being recorded and it will show the data for the past seven days. And these are the current habits that I'm tracking. And today is February 1, no data is tracked, so it is showing nothing over here. Uh, yesterday, it is showing data. Uh, I didn't complete the reading habit and writing habit and focus mate habit. That is why it is showing blank here. And then here, None of my days are perfect right now. So uh, you have other habits over here. I have been using this system to track my habits. Now, this will show the habits for the past seven day, habit data for the past seven day. Okay. Now the crazy part is if you move back, it will again show the data for the past seven days from this uh, date, January 31st up to 25 January. Just like that, it moves here. This is the first part. Now, there are a few more elements in this habit tracking system that you will love. The first one here is the weekly targets. Then we have monthly targets. And then we have the trend here showing all of the data for all of these habits. Then we have the habit history. Okay, historical data for the habit. We will talk about all of these things, historical data, the trend, and then the weekly targets and the monthly targets in the latter part of the video. But before that, I want to express my special thanks to the person who created this system. Uh, he is Saint Timons and he created this system originally and I improved upon it a lot and made some changes based on my own needs like adding a weekly target, monthly target and better layout, better view, that sort of thing. I will provide the link to this Substack article so that you can directly uh, check it out from there. But now let's go on to setting this habit tracker for ourselves. But before that, I want to quickly talk about two of my Mac applications. If you use Mac, you will definitely find these two applications useful. So the first application is called as Quick Sticky Notes, which allows you to create these sticky notes that appear on the top of all the other windows. You can keep on using whatever you are using. This is the current outline for this video and I'm putting it on my screen and creating a video based on that outline. This sticky note application is not like a general other applications. It does not have live preview or that kind of features, but it is a simple way to get a quick access to your notes as well as to uh, add them as a reference material. You can see here, you can quickly open your notes. You can see all of your notes. You can sort them. You can open these notes and it will appear here. You can move them directly over here like this. So this is the first application. The second application is called Voice Inc. It is a voice to text application for Mac OS. I will show you a quick demo of that application as well. Voice Inc is one of the most used application in my system right now. So I'll just move it away. And this is my review of the day, okay? My daily log and here, None of this is written by me. It is uh, written automatically by voicing with the help of voice dictation as well as AI enhancement. So this is from yesterday. If we will go again back to yesterday, then you have again here. So I'll just show you an example, okay? So this is a sticky note for today. So what I'll do is just enable voicing application. Today was a great day. In the morning, I worked on voicing applications update and in the day, since today was Saturday, the gym was not open. So I did some yoga and stretching at home. But it was a good day. I also made a video about the habit tracker, the new habit tracker that I was using. It was a really productive day and I got a lot of things done. It was a nice day. So what do you need to do now? Okay, I can't speak right now. Okay, so you need to stop it. Uh, you have this uh, journal prompt over here and stop the recording and it will automatically process and paste that over here i'll just show you in live preview over here and this properly writes in three sections this is a prompt custom prompt that i have been using morning day and it provides a reflection as well as proper review of your day so that was all about the voicing application but it is a really nice application if you are on mac then you can definitely try to use it now let's get back to our habit tracker setup. So this habit tracker is built on the top of data core and data core is a successor to data view plugin, Obsidian data view plugin that we are generally used to. And this is a currently in the beta version. And you can see here we have data core JSX. 
So this here is around 1500 lines of code. You'll need to copy all of this code and add it to your vault first. Create a new node and add it to your vault. So I'll just copy it. I'll go to my Obsidian Life OS vault. If you previously got my Obsidian Life OS vault, there will be an update with this uh, new updated version. You will need to add this code to a new file called as maybe you can write habit tracker and after you add the code it will look the same in the preview mode as well this is because this habit tracker is built on the top of data core and data core is a obsidian data view successor so you will first need to install the obsidian data core plugin and since it is not available in the comty plugin store you will need to manually install it by using the comty plugin called as bract so first go to obsidian comty plugin and source for bract uh, by TFT hacker it has around 300,000 downloads uh, you install this plugin called as brat then go into this ribbon menu click on add a plugin for beta testing and here you will need to add the github repo of data core plugin and I already have it in clipboard I just search for data core okay I'll provide this link in the description so that you can directly copy from there click on add plugin and now you need to wait a few seconds before this plugin is installed and enabled Okay, now we can see here the plugin has been registered with Brad and also we have our habit tracker preview. Now there are a few things that you need to configure uh, before this habit tracker actually starts to work for you because you copied this code directly from my Obsidian vault uh, uh, from my own use case. So there are some configurations that you need to make on your side so that it works perfectly for you. And this has a lot of code like 1500 lines of code but you don't have to be scared about this because there are only few places where you need to make changes and the first place that you need to make changes to is here this is the only place where you need to configure the habit and another thing that you need to configure is the source query so i just go for source for query and you will find this to source you can just go to command palette and source for source current file click on it and source for query and you will be taken to this code function. This is where you need to tell the data core plugin from where you need to get the data. Because this was previously on the reflect folder and journal soft folder. Now you will need to find where you keep all of your daily notes from where you want to track your habits. Now I'll search for query again. Here you will need to make sure you properly add the path from where you want to track these habits 002 journal now if i go to preview mode it still shows nothing because in our daily notes for the past seven days there are no daily notes uh, because this is a demo world there are no daily notes now i'll create a note for today february 1 now i'll go back to habit tracker and here we have the first habit tracker you can see here we only have the data for first february let's add some more notes like 31st january 30 january 29 january 28 27 26 25 i'll go to habit tracker now and you can see all the data properly and because some of these properties were overlapping we can see uh, the properties already over here now you already have the source query configured for your daily notes now you need to configure the actual habits for that i'll go to one of my notes okay and i'll enable the stack view so that you can see it side by side and i'll go to the source mode of this file now this is the only place that you need to make changes first here is the id then here we have the emoji then here we have the label that will be rendered uh, in the view then we have the default duration this is the value that will be added to that particular habit when you click on it let's say for example we have the money habit that is over here and it is tracking as dollars okay so if i click on it uh, it will by default add 10 dollar value and one thing that you need to remember is it does not work with inline data and the reason why it is showing this money as 30 is because we had this in the template so that is why it is showing up here now if you again click on it this will disappear if you want to directly add the data directly you can go to this 
history view these are some other nodes that were present in the uh, a journal folder that is why it is showing so you need to make sure that only your daily notes are available over here so you can enable this okay you can click on it now this habit is checked if you want to add the value you read the value let's say you write 50 and click anywhere outside it and it is updated let's write it 100 out click outside it and the value is updated directly over here so let's try to make some changes and so it does not work with checklist kind of habits even if you are using checklist kind of habits you can configure them to work with this setup by adding one value as a checked value and zero value as unchecked value so we'll configure this habit tracker based on the properties that we have over here writing workout reading and money Let, let's say we will not configure with money go to source mode let's first I did it for writing let's first edit this reading property we have the reading over here and I always suggest you use smaller cases although we have the capital case over here so I'll just use reading over here emoji is reading that is right the label is reading default address and here you if you want to use checkbox kind of starting then you can write one but if you want to track your habits by actually using numbers, by measuring the time period, by measuring the pages you read, by walking the steps or something like that, then you will need to add the default duration. This default duration will be used as a target. Only when your daily notes of value larger than that, then that habit will be treated as completed in the view. So I'll just write 25 over here and then units minutes then we have writing then we have okay i'll remove some of these properties i'll remove expenses as well instead of meditation i'll write workout for this case and label will be workout default duration will be 30 minutes now there are a lot of configuration for this as well if you want to track other habits like money for money we have a different code over here to uh, display it as dollar you can see here when the habit unit is minutes it will be displayed as minutes when the habit unit is dollars it will be displayed as dollar and when habits unit is rupees it will be displayed as this if you do not know programming then you can always use tools like chat gpt by providing the code or you can install the cursor application cursor ai and just feed this data and tell it your current requirements and it will give you back the code and you can use that code without any errors and now we only have four habits over here now if you click on any of these habits let's say i will click on reading and it will automatically update this value to 25 minutes writing and it will update to 30 minutes let's update the workout value and it will update to 30 minutes and i'll click on money and it will add the 10 minutes over here and it will add the 10 dollars value over here because we use the capital case it will actually create new one because it will not detect this one with smaller case so this is the first setup where you can just click on these habits and it will automatically uh, add the value that you configure over here uh, the default duration value and it will be marked as complete now if you want to track your goals or if you want to track your targets by using your daily habits so currently it is only tracking money over here because we only have monthly goal set to money so what you need to do is copy this monthly goal and add it to other habits as well let's say i want to add it to a reading habit and for monthly goal so the default duration is 25 minutes so i'll just add the value as 1000 minutes now if i go to preview now we will have two monthly goals broken down into weekly targets as well so the projected weekly target is 175 minutes of reading and 186 dollars of money and if you click on this icon it will show you the trend so i'll just close this side view and here you have the uh, option to track the perfect days and perfect days means all of your habits are completed and we have one perfect day over here if you have two perfect day, days it will automatically update let me go to preview oh wait uh, it is not updating because we are in february month right now 
So now you have the monthly goal, 24 fact days, yearly goal, 254 fact days, and streak is two days currently because it is tracking from the uh, past month as well. And then you have uh, all of your habits data over here that will show the data for the last 30 days. So this is one of the reasons why you should measure your habit units, like uh, how many pages you read, how many minutes of workout, how many minutes of yoga, meditation, money, expenses, etc. So that you have a statistical view of all of your habits, of everything that you have done. And then finally, we have a history view over here. And you can use it to directly toggle it on and off. You can see the habits being applied. And the completion rate also changing. It's 100%, 75%, 50%. Twenty-five percent, like that. Now the great thing about this historical view is that you can directly edit these properties from here. I guess I already showed you that as well. So first, open the February first note, and I'll make some changes from here. So reading instead of twenty-five, I'll write forty, and you will see it change over here. Writing, I'll change from thirty to ten, and when you click anywhere outside it, it will automatically change. Writing currently is 30 and you can see it being changed to 10. So this is a really nice system to track your habits as well as track your goals by creating monthly targets as well as weekly targets. At least this is what I'm using right now and I love it. I love to see the progress that I have made towards my goals by actually tracking my daily data, the progress that I make uh, daily. And if you are also looking for a system like this, I would definitely recommend you to get this. You can get this entire habit tracker system from my Patreon or you can also download the demo world, the life planner demo world for Obsidian from Gumroad and start to use this system. And I guess a lot of you will love this system because tracking habits and tracking goals in Obsidian require a lot of setup. Previously, we were able to use data view or the combination of other plugins. But this here is a simple way. We have a lot of code, but we don't need to do anything with this code. We just need to go to preview mode. Now we have to be in the preview mode always and it will work like a actual standalone habit tracker that we have in other applications and all of your data will always be maintained uh, in your daily notes. So I guess uh, you will love this implementation because actually I'm loving it. So uh, this is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you use Mac, I would definitely suggest you checking out two of my applications, Voice Inc. as well as Quick Sticky Notes. I hope you have a great time. See you again. Bye.